that's a good because uh, that's this is intended to be kind of like a mellow thing and that bass note there is always a kiss. You're right, the touch is wonderful. Uh, you like the touch? Yeah, I do. Uh, it's it's very, I, you don't have to use it. You know, you can really control things. With yeah, the yeah. One change that um, you might want to consider while you're playing mm -hmm. is we can remove some of that little extra softness that's there. We can bring it up just a little bit. You mean here or all the whole thing? Yeah. Or the whole thing. So what I can do is I can put a top coat of a light lacquer on top of the hammer, just a real light, light coat, and it'll give yeah, a little. would harden it a little. Bit. Just the top. And it would give it a little bite to the tone and help hmm. separate the tones. That's interesting. And if I do it all the way across, then it we still bring up consistent. together. That's an interesting idea. I other you know for a lot for a lot of the stuff that I I personally like to do is the heavy romantic stuff in jazz. So for that, this toning is nice. And if I were going to be doing more classical, Beethoven. Scriabin, those kinds of things, which were at one point in my repertoire, uh, it, it could use a little, you know, hardening. So that, that's a that's a hard call right now. Difference? Oh yeah. Good. Can good. You? I, I it's it's like it's very just, subtle. It's, a, it's it's like it seems a little more powerful and it's a little pingier and it's there's just just a little bit of more brightness. And so it takes away the my you know my first concern was maybe it's a little too soft. Okay. And so I like it a lot better. Okay. I, just awesome. that little bit helps. A lot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, the the tone is great. So. It's amazing you can not any tone out of that. Yeah. <laughs> that never happens in instruments this size. Oh, yeah. No, I think your, what do you call it, the churniplex system. <laughs> right, right. Work. it's going to need a good tuning so I'm I'll, I'll live with it like this for a week or so they were used you, you probably know the history of this more than I do they before Steinway took over the market uh, in the late 1870s Kanabis were the only thing that were ever used in concert halls but mm -hmm. primarily in metro in opera halls because yeah the Metropolitan were, Opera is, is what they always referred to as their fame right that they were, yeah, you, you have the history of saying as I, it, it was, and they, at least what I read, they claimed that because it, it was the one piano that most matched the human voice, because it was right. mellow. Okay, I'm, I'm thrilled, thank you. All so right. Much.